Okay, so you just got in your brand new Safe palette, and you're probably wondering, number one, what do I do next? How do I set up my palette? What order do I put things on in? How does this exactly work? And also, I want to be able to share my top five tips for making sure that you love this makeup as much as we do. So I'm going to do my makeup really quickly. I've already done my eyes from my custom palette here, but I'm going to show you how to set up your palette, give you some tips and tricks to make sure that you are as excited about this as we are. So you ready to dive in? So when you get your makeup, it's going to come in these cute little bags. You're going to have these little custom, either custom tins or the tins that were pre-selected for you within one of our collections. And regardless, you're going to want to take them out. They just slide out and you're, they're magnetic. So you just pop them in, open up your palette, <laughs> unpack your box and pop it right in there like that. So I like to set mine up in the order in, that I use them. And if you, for example, got the 3D palette number 12, you received three highlight colors. You may have also been matched with custom where you might only have two. You got one contour, a bronzer, hopefully totally optional, illuminator. And then I always like to keep the creams and powders separate. So my eyeshadows are on the bottom along with a few lip and cheek options there. And also this particular palette did come with a detail brush and the blush and bronzer. Yours, your custom palette may have come with the 3D brush. There's no wrong or right answer. All the brushes are amazing. The goal is to just quickly and easily apply it using the awesome synthetic bristles so that they don't get clunky and gunky. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. But first things first, don't be scared to just get it out of the packaging, unpack it, set up your palette in the order that you like, and remember to keep your creams and powders separate. Okay, so my tip number, so that's tip number one, set up your palette, don't be scared. Tip number two, I want to give you some of my top application tips and tricks, okay, as we do this together. So I recommend starting with the contour at least the first time you do it because most people are scared of that dark, scary color and they don't apply enough. And all you have to do is just find that cheek bone, use the brush, press it up under, and do a little bit more than you think you do because you can always blend it out, okay? You're going to put it under your cheekbones, up around the top of your forehead. Optional, but you can even go down underneath your chin to kind of cast that shadow, even down your neck just a little bit, and it just kind of thins everything out. And then you can take your finger like this do a little bit down the bridge of your nose. And again, the idea with this makeup and what sets it apart is it's one custom layer. So we're not putting layer and layer and layer. We're starting with the dark. We're going to go next to, if you have the three and you have what's called a camouflage color, you're going to take the darkest one and just use it almost like you would a concealer. But really you're putting this on any of the areas where you have maybe a little bit of redness or if you have a little bit of melasma like I do here, or again, like I've got a little friend that's visiting up there. And so you're just gonna put this just on the areas where you need a little bit of color correction. And sometimes for, for certain folks, it might be under eyes to, you know, kind of conceal dark circles there, but essentially you're gonna take the darkest of your colors to color correct if you have that, okay? Otherwise, if you just have the two, this will be your main highlight. So I am then going to, jump to the brighter highlight that one that's going to be the lightest color in your palette and it goes right in the inner corner outer corner you can even if you don't already have your eyes on you can put it on your eyes and in the inner corner so the tip ticket as i'm doing this couple things to note for my tips and tricks is you want to use less of the highlight which is also you know what you're used to using as your foundation or your concealer and more of the contour. So that's my, my biggest tip. So you don't need much of the main highlight, just a little bit goes a long way to get that desired coverage that you want and that brightness and the glow, but still to have it look nice and natural. So I'm going in with that middle highlight to kind of blend it all together, just to get it nice and smooth. Basically, just fill in the gaps, fill in the blanks with everything that doesn't already have it, a contour or a highlight color, okay? I'm also going to take that lighter one and do just a line right down the center of my nose, okay? And you can blend with the brushes. 
you can blend with the sponge, the Perfector sponge. Just make sure to run it underwater. Use it damp. It's amazing. Okay, now let's bronze. So difference between bronzer and contour. The bronzer is meant to add a warmth and a glow. You can see it, you know, kind of adds like an warmth where the sun would hit, whereas the contour casts a shadow. So I'm kind of going in and just warming it up like so. Then lip and cheeks. You've got a couple of choices, hopefully. And you just go in, put the apple on the cheeks and blend it up like that. And then finally, put some on your lips. Everything's meant to mix and match. You can do whatever you like. Okay, so next up, let's do the illuminator. And this is the last and final step in our 3D foundation. It goes right on the top of the cheekbones, okay? So this is, as a reminder, not like your typical foundation, okay? This is going to be something that you're going to put on in one simple layer. Start with the contour. Use more of the contour than you think, less of the highlight than you think. It will come together, I promise. Do not worry. Just blend, 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 and you're going to get that natural coverage that you're looking for. You can also build it up if you want just a little bit more. Okay, so my third tip for you is how to know that we nailed the batch. So if we got this right, you're, you might, when you first put on, especially your darker one, it might look and feel like a little bit warm. But once you get it all nice and blended in there, you can see that it just kind of blends into the skin. It looks nice and, and, and kind of creamy. It goes on smooth. It doesn't look too orange in any way, shape, or form. So that's how we know we nailed it. If we went a little too dark, it's going to feel orange and it's going to feel kind of like a lot of product. And remember, don't use it as much as you think you need. Okay, just start with a little bit, blend up to get the best results. If we went too light, it's going to be chalky. And the same way you might think that you are light, and you might be tempted to use one of these, these, these lighter colors as your all-over foundation. And if you do, it may pull chalky. Also, a common question is if you, you know, are used to using a concealer. I've got a little friend up there. You can use one of our brushes or any small brush. And you can use the product just like a concealer to put the tiniest little bit right on top of whatever area you're looking to conceal. So you do not need additional products. Of course, if you have one that you love, feel free to use it. But this is meant to replace everything into the one custom palette, okay? So that's how we know we got it right is when it goes on smooth, it's not too chalky, not too cakey. You can always set with a translucent powder or our vanilla dust if you prefer a more matte finish, okay? All right, so my number four tip is just remember practice makes perfect. So, and it's never gonna be perfect. Don't feel like you have to have it all together. This is meant to be easy, easy, simple, fast makeup that can help you look and feel beautiful, right? So the best way to do that is give it seven days of solid practice. That way you're going to get better and better each time you try it. You're going to kind of learn the different areas like to highlight. And again, you're, you're just kind of creating that, that, that shadow where you want your face to recede. You're creating that brightening look in the areas that you want to pull forward. Okay, so practice makes perfect. Give it a full seven days. And then finally, my fifth and favorite tip is if you love this makeup as much as we do, why not share it? So we have a couple of amazing options for you. You can either become what we call a hostess and we can set up a VIP shopping link where you can share with friends individually or in a group via a class, virtually, in person. And essentially, you basically just get to earn a lot of free Saint goodies just for sharing and referring a makeup that you already love with your friends and family. And then also, if you decide that you want to bring in an additional revenue stream, you also have the option to become what's called an artist. And don't worry, no makeup necessary. We can share lots more information. Just ask the artist that sent you this video if you want more information. But the cool part is, is not only do you also get those free rewards for sharing the product and you never basically have to buy makeup again, but also you can earn the benefits of a commission for anyone that chooses to up their makeup routine. And you can also earn team commissions as well. So if you love this as much as we do, definitely invite you to consider sharing it as a hostess or even as an artist. And again, just let us know if you have any questions about that. But hopefully this is going to help you get your palette set up, give a quick little application reminder and help you do all the things. So thanks again for watching. Yay.